Vijay Mohan Raj is Managing Director of Samira Travel and Tours based in Hyderabad with decades of experience in the Indian market. He's also International Director of Skull, which is the largest organisation of travel and tourism professionals and, much to my joy, is a former Ranji or Ranji cricket player. Is it Ranji or Ranji? It's Ranji. Lovely to meet you. Uh, How is it in uh, Hyderabad today, sir? It's been uh, raining. Right now it's very pleasant. And uh, we are blessed, and especially in Hyderabad, we are blessed with uh, good, good weather through the year, except for probably April and May, when it's uh, very hot. It's about 42 degrees at that time. Wow. But the rest of the year is amazing. It's beautiful. A beautiful city. I haven't been there, and I just keep looking at pictures on the, on the internet. Look, you're involved in the travel and touring business, 30 plus years experience in India. Tell us about your business and how you're weathering this crisis. Well, my company started in the year 1988, and uh, since then we've grown uh, organically as well as we've done some lot of new things. And uh, we are basically into business, corporate travel, and uh, mice. So at this time, which is a crucial a crisis time, there is no travel at all. So all the business has been uh, stalled temporarily. But uh, we have uh, taken this opportunity during these two, three months to uh, organize a lot of training for our people who are working. I have about 50 people who work for me and uh, we've used this opportunity to train them, to upgrade them uh, on different fields of travel. So those who were not into leisure have learned leisure right now. Those who were not into uh, ticketing have also picked up a bit of ticketing. So there has been a lot of training that has happened uh, during this period. But well, that's, uh, that's only because we have no business, really. Uh, international visitors compared to domestic, uh, which is the greater for yourself? Well, uh, uh, we, have a, we have international business as our uh, major revenue on uh, Domestic is, uh, in terms of volume, is very large. But uh, the revenues that we earn basically is from mice and from international ticketing. Mm -hmm. What's your outlook for the travel industry in India and then around the world, considering that COVID-19 is really starting to uh, get its teeth into business? Well, I think uh, nobody expected something like this could happen in the lifetime. And uh, we, are all, uh, we are all on uh, waiting to see what will happen. As a matter of fact, uh, nobody knows what to do. Uh, they don't know how long it will last and they don't know what is uh, the future. But as far as I'm concerned, I think the future is bright because uh, uh, there is something like a terminology called revenge tourism. Uh, when uh, tourism is uh, taken a back seat in the past as well during, say, uh, we had SARS earlier, we had, uh, uh, we had some other uh, uh, situations where uh, business had come down. And then uh, after that, it picked up and it went one and a half times also. So I think uh, it will pick up. I'm sure once the vaccine and, uh, is found and there's a solution medically, I think this uh, business will pick up as again and it will pick up in a bigger way. What about uh, local business in uh, Hyderabad? How is it handling uh, COVID-19 and is there uh, optimism uh, in your city? Well, I think uh, uh, the, with this COVID happening, it's a matter of survival. So I think the uh, small business, that is people who are, uh, say, doing uh, self-employed, uh, they are the ones who've taken the major hit. And there are a lot of them uh, because uh, they don't have any other uh, avenue of income. Uh, the bigger people, that is the people like Carlson and FCM and many others, uh, they, have, uh, uh, they have high overheads. So they have uh, uh, let a lot of the staff go because they don't, they cannot afford to pay. Now this has gone on from March onwards, rather February onwards. Uh, sorry, March onwards and March, April, May, June, and now we are in July. So they have now let uh, let many of their employees go, and uh, it's created uh, unemployment of some kind. So do you think the government's doing enough, and what more can they do? Well, I think we are, government has its limitations because uh, we are not a rich country as such. Uh, the focus has been more on those who are the have-nots, 
people who are struggling for their uh, uh, daily daily meals and uh, their housing and things like that and we have a large number of uh, uh, people who cannot afford a, who are on daily wages and who cannot afford to have a, uh, no income so the government has focused basically on that as far as our industry is concerned and uh, as far as our trade is concerned i wish they could have i think they could have done something much more than they have but uh, at the same time uh, 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 we as associations are uh, trying our best to get the government to understand uh, that uh, they are supposed to look after uh, look after the trade uh, they have in certain industries not in travel but in industries given uh, given facility like uh, giving more uh, monetarium on loans uh, they have also approved loans for people who are in S msmes that is uh, small medium uh, industries so things are happening but not really as much as we would have thought they could have done what advice do you have for because no matter where you are whether you're in um, uh, the united states throughout asia uh, india australia new zealand anywhere in the world um, you're all going through this terrible time and uh, what sort of advice say from and a person of your importance being a director with skull what would you give your members well the only thing that we can do is direct the members as director i can give direction in the sense i can uh, give give them uh, some advice on what uh, they should be doing also as a director of skull and they they look up to the leadership uh, to create some new ideas uh, or to negotiate with authorities like the policy makers and all Uh, not that i can do much as uh, uh, with policy making because uh, we have various associations in india see there are different associations like for travel agents they have a separate association and for tour operators they have a separate association but skol is a melting pot like you have people from 30 classifications who are members of skol so it's a great opportunity for people to interact to discuss and deliberate of all the different aspects of their problems and i think we listen to these problems and uh, try our best to give them direction if somebody wants to find out more about skull for example in india uh, how would they do that well they have to they we have a website skull.org and also we have a very strong uh, national committee in the sense we have 14 clubs in india and they are uh, linked to each other through the national committee and i am i am director international so my my link with them is on the uh, uh with the national committee is whenever there are issues or some discussions or some things to be carried to international that's my job see i carry that to them but uh, india is very fortunate we have uh, fourteen clubs and uh, during this covid period uh, our clubs have been very active in uh, in uh, having webinars uh, and they have been showcasing uh, every club has been showcasing their products for example if you are a member of a bombay club and you wanted to showcase your uh, products you had an opportunity to connect with all the scullies all over india and as a matter of fact all over the world and showcase india so this web, this lockdown has uh, given a lot of opportunity to people to showcase their products on the webinars there are a lot of webinars happening and it's a, a almost a brand new it's only been up for a few months new site for uh, skull and it really has has everything there you got a fabulous facebook page and uh, other means of communication and that's what it's all about at the moment isn't it vj communication that's right that's uh i would like to just put one thing to tell you one thing that uh, skol is being underestimated actually skol is the only organization in the world which has got 350 clubs and 350 cities rather now what what is happening is that every city is got a uh, is very uh, most of the clubs are very active uh they meet once in say a month or once in 45 days and uh, they they network with each other and in skol you can have a travel agent a tour operators uh car rentals there are 30 different classifications and a lot of people don't realize that uh, this is the only way and this is the best way actually and especially during this crisis to be a, it's a it's great to be a member of skol so that you can uh, you can get an opportunity to meet people from different fields in your own industry so that you can promote each other 
and uh, as well not only in uh, it's not only in the city it gives you an opportunity to uh, to showcase your uh, your products to people in different cities and even globally due through the website important to have uh, people with like minds to uh, bounce ideas off to uh, have that shoulder to lean on at times uh, we have to have a, a small piece of indulgence here. Um, tell us about Hyderabad, why it's the best place in the world to visit. Well, I, I did this call uh, 2017 World Congress in Hyderabad. I, I'm not, I don't know whether you're aware of it. And uh, at that time when I was, uh, when I was campaigning, rather I was going around the world uh, using different forums to talk about Hyderabad. I learned a lot about Hyderabad. So first of all, it's got history. It's a 400 plus years of history. Second is that Hyderabad, uh, uh, the climate is so good that uh, anybody from anywhere in the world will be comfortable coming here. And last and no, the people here are very friendly. Uh, we have people uh, in Hyderabad from all over India. It's not that uh, language is not an issue. You could be speaking English, you could be speaking the local language and you can get you can be comfortable over here and not many not uh, many people are aware that uh, in a camp campaign that i did uh, that was done by Merck in the year 2016 hyderabad was in the first 15 best cities in the world to live in so in india uh, all the other cities are after 15 so we were the best uh, city to live in uh, during the 2016 uh, uh, analysis that was done by Merck. So Hyderabad has got a uh, lot of advantages. I know people in other countries, uh, you know Delhi, Bombay, Chennai, Calcutta, they don't know about Hyderabad much. But that's because Hyderabad is a smaller city in terms of uh, uh, numbers. I would say that one in two, every, every 10 employees, every 10 people who get employment, uh, one is in the travel and tourism industry. So that's how important Skoll is and travel and tourism into the world. Mm, fantastic. VJ. thank you very much. Enjoy the day and uh, we'll talk later. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.